In part 11, I'm going to summarize all of the tutorials we did for Lyric X. So first of all, we have a new user interface with docking panes. So it's very easy to take those panes and dock them wherever you would like and save them as your personal workspace. Now I like my browser down at the bottom, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Second of all, let's go to Preferences. We went through the preferences, but the main change is in the timeline where we can do the default interpolation and the global keyframe indicator. So the global keyframe indicator is when I check on that button, the whole timeline turns red. So it shows me that I don't have to, I won't be changing my keyframes. So third is the, the scene graph and we added icons to the scene graph and we can do some filtering to the scene graph as well. So in this case I'm using type and image. Template update ordering. So if we go to the update ordering you can see that which, which everything that was assigned for template update and II update and I can show the, all of the scenes in the scene graph at the same time and I can select. So in this case I want to do a template update for seven text so when I go to the template update, you can see that that is now in, in that up template update. Now it's gone. Next we have the general tab. So I'm just going to bring a movie onto the screen and we'll add some 3D text as well. So the general tab automatically changes depending on what is in the scene graph. So if I'm selecting the, the text, it changes versus the movie. We've added a console window that gives you information such as how long it took to read that scene up. Or if I read a scene that's missing an element, it will actually tell me what the element is and where that is in the scene graph. Next is our text window, so we, we've consolidated all of the text into one icon. So I can click the icon and add 3D text or 2D text. And if I wanted to put a template around that, it's as simple as right clicking and, and selecting create template. And I can also add my 3D text, text timers, rolls, crawls, and type on and so forth. Next we've added the scene properties and this is where we give the scene a name and a description, make it persistent, give it priority and put a background under it. Now we come down to the timeline. The timeline we can do all of the elements for the timeline such as loop and whole first frame just by simply right clicking on the objects in the timeline and it's very easy to squeeze and expand that timeline. So very easy to just add a keyframe, add another keyframe. If I lasso it, very easy to move those keyframes around together. So that's a summary of Lyric X and all the new changes.